Hello and thank you for watching. I'm Ashley Van Dyke with Advantage Software, and on today's video, customizing the Eclipse Word Index, I'm going to show you all of the options that Eclipse gives you when you're making a word concordance index. I have a sample document here that I'm going to use to create the word concordance index. There are three ways that you can create a word index. All of them involve going to the print menu. Whether you do that through production print, through alt o, or by going to production output to pdf, that's fine. In this example, I'm going to use production output to pdf. I'm going to go to print image options, and in this window is where I can choose the word index. Where it says full size, I can choose full size with index, multi-page with index, or index only. And so for this video, I'm just going to choose index only. I haven't done anything to set up my word index, and it should be using the default settings, so I'm going to go ahead and just print it out so that we can see what it looks like. I'm going to click OK and OK to make a PDF. And I'm in my word index, and you see that it is 38 pages long. I haven't omitted anything from this word index. I haven't omitted any common words or any pages from my word index, and so this has indexed the entire document. The first things listed in Eclipse word indexes are the speakers. You'll see that for every entry in the word index, the first thing that you'll see in the index is the entry itself. The next item is the number of occurrences, which will be a number within brackets, and that will be followed by the locations in the document. So in this instance, the court reporter spoke only once, and it was on page 6, line 7. Mr. Smith, however, spoke two times, once on page 99, line 19, and again on page 99, line 21. If I go down further in the list, you see that there is an entry for each word that was in the document. And you see that again with each of these entries, the number of occurrences and each location is listed. For the word about, it occurred 39 times in this document. Words like about, there, them, and the may not be words that you want to index. Another example here is the word any. This appeared over 100 times. You may not have any good reason to search for the word any in your word index or your document or need to know where it appeared each of those hundred times. Words like these can be omitted using the common words list. I'm going to close out of my PDF. I'm going to go to my user settings. I'm going to go to my programming tab and here I see a common words entry. I'll double click on this or click it and click modify and currently my common words list is empty. That means that no words are being omitted from my word index. If there are words that I wish to omit from my word index, I can add them here, one word per line. However, Eclipse also comes with a list of common words. Th this list may be pre-filled for you, but if it's not, the list of words is included in the installation of Eclipse. I'm going to click on my Windows File Explorer icon. I'm going to go to C Drive, Program Files, Advantage Software, Eclipse, and here there's a file called EnglishCommon.txt. If I double click on this file, it opens up and you see that in this document is a list of common words that I do not wish to have indexed in my word index. One word appears per line and all of these are common words that I'm unlikely going to want to search for in my word index and therefore don't need them indexed. In order to import this list into Eclipse, all I need to do is hit Control A to highlight everything and then I can hit Control C or right click and select copy. I'll return to Eclipse where my common words list is still open and I can either hit Control V to paste or right click and paste. And this list of words has now been entered into my common words list and I'll hit OK and OK. Now I can go to production, output to PDF, print image options, index only, OK, OK. And the new word index that's completed should be considerably shorter and more useful. And indeed, you see that in the new PDF word index, there are only 17 pages at the top instead of 38. And if I go down, I'm not going to see words like any or there or the. However, I'm still going to see words that may be relevant to the testimony at hand. And of course, the common words list is 100% customizable. If you're not satisfied with the words provided in the English common file, you can modify them remove any that you want to appear or add any that you don't want to appear. In addition to simply omitting common words from your word index, you may also wish to omit pages. 
In this example, I made just a word index only. However, if you're going to make a full-sized transcript with a word index or a multi-page transcript with a word index, you can also omit pages from those word indexes. I'm going to go to Production, Output to PDF, Print to Image Options. This time I'm going to choose Full Size with Index. I'll hit Options, and where it says Omit Pages in the bottom left, I'm going to type in page 1 through 5, because in this document my title pages take up pages 1 through 5. So I'll press OK, I'll press OK one more time, and a third time, and a new PDF file is going to be created, and this will contain the full size transcript at the beginning, and at the end will be the word index. And this word index, since I chose to omit pages 1 through 5, will be slightly shorter, and it will have fewer entries because it will not have the entries from pages 1 through 5. One of the words that I know is on page 1 and nowhere else is the word SUPERIOR in all caps. If I scroll down to the S's in my word index, I see that I do not see the word superior in all caps here. But if I close out of the PDF, go back to production, output to PDF, and choose to make an index only, the word superior in all caps is in the list. This allows you to omit things from the word index when you're making the full sized or multi page printout if desired but you'll always get the full report of the document with the word index only printout. That's the only difference between printing just the word index and printing the full size or multi-page with index, is that if you have pages omitted, they'll only be omitted when you print full size with index or multi-page with index, and they'll be included when you print just the word index. In addition to omitting contents from your full size and multi-page with index printouts, by omitting pages, you can also omit paragraph types. In this document, all of my block files use fixed paragraph types. And so what I can do is go to Production, Output to PDF, Print Image Options, Options. And if I click Omit Paragraphs, I can click Fixed to select it, press OK, and OK. And if I choose Full Size with Index, and press OK, and OK, all of the words that are on fixed lines will be omitted from my index. I'll scroll down to the end of my document. And again, I can look for the word superior in all caps. And you see that that does not appear in the word index. And so it has been successfully omitted from my full size with index printout because I omitted fixed paragraphs from this type of printout. Another way to limit the number of items that come up in your Word index is by going to Output to PDF, Print Image Options, and clicking the Options button. Here in the Options drop-down list, I can choose Index Threshold. And right now, this is set to 1. And that means that any word that appears more than once every page will not appear in the Word index. If I set this to 2, a word that appears more than once every two pages will not appear in the word index. So the higher this number is, the fewer words I'll get in my word index. I'm going to go ahead and change this to four. That should drop off some words from our index and I'll press OK. I'll choose index only again and OK and OK. And you see that now the word index is only 16 pages instead of 17 pages. as a few of those words that appear fairly frequently have now been dropped off. Now that we have the content of our word list pared down, we can also adjust the way that it looks. Although this is perfectly readable, it is a little bit striking, and I would prefer to have an easier to read font for my word index. I would also like to have more columns. I'm going to close out of my PDF document, taking me back into the document. I'll go to production, output to PDF, print image options, I'll choose Index Only, Options, and in the Options drop-down window, in addition to Index Threshold, there is an Index Column setting. I'm going to go ahead and change this to 4, and at the top where it says Default Font, the last option in that list is Index Font. I'm going to click the Font button, and I'm going to choose an easier to read font in a smaller size, and I'm going to make sure that that font is bold, and I'll press OK. OK. It's set to index only, so I'll press OK and OK again. And my new PDF has four columns, and it has taken on the new font that I requested.
You can use any font and any number of columns that you'd like in your word index. The smaller the font size, the more words will be able to fit on each page. And you see that now my word index has been pared down to four pages. At the beginning, with no restrictions in place, it was a total of 38 pages. But now, after restricting the words that can appear in the index and adjusting the font of the index, it's only four pages long and it's easy to digest. The steps for changing your word index are the same whether you're choosing to go to production, output to PDF to change it, or production, output to printer to change it. Here, you can simply choose index only and adjust any options in the options button. And when you print to paper, or if you have a separate PDF printer installed, all of those same options will apply just like they would if you went to production output to PDF. So no matter what your final product is, whether it's printed to paper or a PDF, you can ensure that you get consistent, great looking results that are easy to read and useful to your clients. The last great feature about Concordance Word Indexes is the clickable keyword index on the left. Every PDF word index created by Eclipse will have this clickable index on the left. Where you find it may vary depending on the PDF viewer that you're using, but in Adobe Acrobat Reader, the bookmark icon on the left will show you all of these shortcuts. If I expand one of these letters, such as F, I can click on a word, and it takes me directly to that word in the word index. Your word index can be customized to meet all of your client's needs. Thank you for watching this video. I hope that you'll use word indexes in the future. As a reminder, Advantage Software offers anytime support 24 seven. Tech support can be reached anytime, including weekends and holidays at 772-288-3266. Email support is also available at support at eclipsecat.com. Thanks so much for watching this video. Please hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed it and subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so that you'll be notified when we publish new content in the future. Thank you so much and have a great day.